Beautiful question. I can see e to power x here. So can I write? Can I write this expression in the form e to power x fx plus f dash x? That should be my first form. Because if I can write it like this, this would be. So this is the formula we have already learned. We have proved this as well. So we will we, we we're gonna use it directly. So when I saw the e to power x and I saw something inside bracket, so it just clicked my uh, in my mind. Can I write it e to power fx plus f dash x? Well, we are ready to go. So we should give that first try. Here we can see the inside stuff. If I copy it here, i is equal to integration. We are going from pi by two to pi, and we have e to power x. And inside bracket, if you see one is it is, as it is, sine x can be written as two sine x by two using the half angle by two cos x by two. And denominator here, one minus cos x can be written as two sine square. Again, this is a half angle formula. We have learned in trigonometry. So here we go. And this is, we have the x and y. Now we can easily observe it. We have this, we have almost got the answer. So pi by two to pi e to power x there. So one by two sine square can be written as, since one by two, one by sine square can be written as cosec square. Cosec square x by two and minus, you see this two two gone because you, you're gonna split it. One by this and two sine x by two cos x by two. So you get here cot. Now you must have already seen the uh, uh, that cortex. If we take cortex by two as fx, this becomes f dash x. So we can actually show that we are saying let let fx is equal to f of x is equal to negative of cortex by two. Then we'll have f dash x when you find the differentiation of this it comes half cosec squared x by two. Finally, we can write our integral as, because therefore our integral i is equal to, and that integration has come out to be e to power x cot x by two, cot x by two. And we had, this is in definite limit we had from pi by two to pi. So we're gonna put these values in this question. So I think uh, fx was minus cot x, right? So minus, because we took fx as, e to the power x, fx is the integral, and fx we took as minus cot x. Yes, fx is cot x, so uh, we'll have e to the power x minus cot x. All right, and now we're gonna put these values, so which is, is equal to minus of e to the power pi, uh, you can take the minus sign out, e to power pi and uh, cot of pi by two minus e to power pi by two cot of, if we put x is pi by two, it become pi by four. And now I have minus e to power pi, this thing becomes zero, cos 90, cot 90 is zero, okay? minus e to power pi by two into one. So what are you getting? Very good. So this becomes zero and this becomes e to power. Your answer is e to power pi by two. Yes.